Now you'll have no doubt noticed it's been an unusual and challenging year. And here at WWT, thanks to the dedication of our staff and volunteers, we're still able to deliver some of the conservation work out on our reserves. Here at Slimbridge, one of the newest bits of habitat that we've created is this, our wetland treatment system, designed to clean up the water before it heads out onto the reserve, as well as providing fantastic wildlife habitat in its own right. As the project was being finished over the summer and water started to move into these filtration beds, we saw lots of wildlife instantly start to move in. Things like little egrets, green sandpipers, and an abundance of dragonflies. Just behind me at the moment, we've got a pair of mute swans. And as these beds develop, we should see new birds start to move in. As the reed bed matures, things like Chetty's warblers and reed warblers will move into breed. And hopefully it'll provide a fantastic home for our water voles too. So as well as treating the water, it's going to be a great place for a whole host of different species, as well as benefiting the rest of the reserve with an improved water quality. Here at Slimbridge, one of the biggest habitat restoration projects we've undertaken in recent years is this, the creation of our new paleo channel. Centuries ago, it would have been a salt marsh creek, but today it's a freshwater habitat corridor connecting wetlands in the south of the reserve with those in the north. Interspersed along its length are new crane nesting islands and hopefully these will provide safe havings for our pairs to raise the next generation over the coming years. Over the last 12 months a whole host of species have now used this new corridor. The winter saw our Buick swans, widgeon and white fronted geese here. The spring and summer was fantastic for green sandpipers, little egrets and our dragonflies. And this autumn a big flock of over 140 curlew have now been used in this area but cherry on the top has perhaps been the return of our otters to this new habitat and we've managed to record their presence on our camera traps which are dotted along the length of this new corridor. So after just one year of this new habitat being in place on the reserve we're already seeing a whole host of species start to move in so we're really excited to see what the future is going to bring for this new wetland corridor.